Hi guys, it's Ben here. Welcome to my preview for Liverpool versus Chelsea in the Carabao Cup. It is the third competition that we're entering into this season. We're winning every single game in the Premier League, winning every game in the Champions League with that win over PSG. So now it's time to carry on that form. We're at home again, which is great. We look like we're just going to keep on winning at home without conceding any goals, especially in the league or in domestic competitions. So Chelsea come to Anfield who did have a perfect record. They just drew 0-0 at West Ham on Sunday. So, yeah, I mean, that, that clash on Saturday that we've got coming up at Stamford Bridge is going to be on the back of our minds. I'm sure team selections will kind of be done, you know, two at a time. Every decision that's made about this game will be having Saturday taken into account. So it's not like take each game as it comes, as everyone always says. This doubleheader, especially as it is against the same opponent, will very much be, OK, this is our team for Wednesday, this is our team for Saturday. There'll be no decisions that have taken after Wednesday uh, in terms of team selection, as far as I'm concerned. So there will be a lot of rotation on both sides, I'm sure, but there probably won't be as much as there would be if it wasn't Liverpool versus Chelsea. If it was Liverpool versus Southampton, I'm sure there'll be plenty more changes. Um, and speaking of Southampton, we are coming off the back of that 3-0 win against them at Anfield on Saturday in one of the most routine wins you could ever wish for. Um, you know, West Ham was probably a more glamorous 4-0 win. Um, I thought that was a really impressive performance. Brighton was probably your more getting it over the line, you know, just winning like champions, I suppose, the 1-0, just getting enough done. But the Southampton was kind of somewhere in between. It was a nice home routine. Um, a couple of sloppy goals and a nice goal. Just one of those thick games that you seem to always see Chelsea um, have have these kind of wins when they win the title. You know, they always seem to win 3-0 at home and not do anything that special. So to do that, it's a cliche, of course it is. We, we're all talking cliches. But yeah, it's delightful to have that kind of win under our belt. And it takes us into Wednesday um, with no fresh concerns, with no injury worries, really. Uh, obviously, we had the Van Dijk one when he went down. I'm sure he'll be rested. Uh, for Wednesday, but um, it was great to be able to take off, off the pedal a bit second half um, and leave something in the tank for this game against Chelsea, who will make changes themselves. They drew 0-0 at West Ham on Sunday, which ruined their perfect record, but Saturday is the game where, you know, I mean, it's hard not to look past this Carabao Cup one slightly, as much as we want to win it and we want to win trophies, um, because it's been so long, the last time we won a trophy was this exact competition uh, six seasons ago now, so uh, it's about time we did something. Is the Carabao Cup going to be enough? You know, is it? does it count? I mean, of course it counts, it's a trophy, but, you know, I mean, leave a comment below. Would you settle for a trophy and going deep in the Champions League and, you know, running Man City right down to the wire, getting 95 points, irresistible football, loads of clean sheets, conceding less than 20 goals, scoring 100 goals, but not quite winning a title. For me, that's still not enough. For me, it is about winning the league now, and it's something that we're more than capable of doing. We've got the outright lead at the top of the Premier League, um, but you know, having said that, how you know, on a scale of 1 to 10, how upset would I be if we went out of the Carabao Cup? You know, Last season at Leicester away, it was very different because at that point, there was a lot of concern about, well, the thing I took away from that game was Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain being absolutely terrible. Um, he played on the right-hand side of a, of a front three and just couldn't cross the ball for love more money, couldn't keep keep onto the ball. It was really quite concerning. We lost 2-0 and walked out of the ground that, that night thinking, Christ, this season's going to be a long one. Almost written it off and then obviously the bad form continued. We had a draw at Newcastle. Um, we, we did beat Leicester away. Then we lost 4-1 at Spurs. The City game was just before that. And, you know, it was all kind of falling apart. Here it's very different. We know we can win the league. We know we can go and win the Champions League. You know, that is very much a possibility. Um, there is the FA Cup as well, which is obviously the most important of the domestic competitions uh, as far as the Cups are concerned. So this is a, the fourth one, and I'm waffling, but how much do, do you really want to win it? How much does Klopp really want to win it? I think he wants to beat Chelsea more psychologically than anything else. Um, but I think you know his team selection will tell us all we need to know. So let's talk about that. I mean, let's start with the goalkeeper. I think Alisson will play um, because... The relationship between Klopp and Mignolet doesn't seem to be its strongest. I don't think there's any need to satisfy Mignolet. Everyone knows where they stand with who number one and two is. Um, there's only two senior keepers at the club. And, you know, Mignolet's not going to be under any illusion just to, oh, if I get a chance here and I impress, maybe I'm back in the side. He knows he's number two and he's going to stay number two until he leaves. Um, Defence, you know, you'd be surprised if Trent wasn't rested. You know, Nathaniel Klein is raring to go. Um, Centre-backs... It seems silly to play Van Dijk. I'd, I'd go Matip. If Lovren's ready, which, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not privy to that kind of information. If he is, then maybe he'll play alongside Matip. If not, you know, maybe Joe Gomez didn't play 
uh, at the weekend, so maybe that was with this in mind. Uh, obviously, he came off the bench and was <laughs> almost a man of the match anyway, but yeah. Gomez and you'd think Moreno will replace Robertson at left back. Midfield, you might all get what you want. You might get Fabinho. He might actually start a game in the number six run. In fact, I'd be surprised if he doesn't. He got about two minutes of injury time or, or whatever it was against PSG. Um, so yeah, Fabinho probably to play. Milner was rested, obviously, against Chelsea, but he did end up playing 45 minutes. He, he could probably play. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd go as far as saying he probably will play. Um, and then take your pick from the rest of them. Lalana, is he ready? If he is, great, get him in. If not, Shakiri maybe. You know, he only played forty-five minutes. In fact, you know, let's let's assume he might get another go here. If not, Curtis Jones would be great to see him. But um, you know, he's obviously playing with the under twenty-threes mostly. And the front three, you'd surely rest Mo Salah. You surely rest Firmino, um, Mane. I don't know. You know, um, you've got Solanke. You've got Sturridge. You know, Origi might not quite be fit. I'm not sure what the situation is there. You, or, you know, you can push Shakiri into a front three. And um, I'm just, sorry, hearing laughter from the, from the other room there. Um, so, yeah, plenty of options, plenty of young players to, to get opportunities. Is there? <laughs> sorry, my flatmates are doing a prank on someone. I should have filmed that, to be honest with you. Hilarious. But anyway, um, the bookies have got us as favourites to win this, um, to go through. We're two to five, I think. Uh, Chelsea is seven to four, so we are favourites. Do we want this competition? You know, I, I hate to say this because obviously we're Liverpool fans and want to win every game. Do we want this competition to um, be um, not getting in the way, but you know, be very prevalent in you know our schedule, which is very very full, obviously, with the Champions League and you know, as the season goes on, midweek um, fixtures being introduced, and once you go to Christmas, you know, a very busy. Uh, Christmas period, then you've got FA Cup introduced early January, then you've got two legs of the League Cup semi final. So I'm sure all this has been considered, but how strong, how weak we go, you know, I don't know. Um, you have to look ahead to Saturday as, as the game which defines this little period uh, before we go to Naples. So let me know your thoughts, let me know your thoughts on the team selection. Um, prediction wise, you know, I, I think Chelsea will have the same idea as us, um, they'll probably go equally weak as us. Um, or make make as many changes as us, but uh, and and they'll know that they need to. Well, they can't lose on on Saturday if they want to kind of stay in touch with us. So that will be very much on their mind. Sarri coming in from from Napoli. How seriously is he going to take this competition? You know, if a lot of foreign managers come over, and some of them take it completely seriously. You know, Guardiola obviously is, uh, or City in general have won quite a few of these competitions in recent years. Um, Rafa Benitez obviously made a quite a lot of changes when he came to Liverpool in the domestic cups, but he did win one. So, and got to a final of this competition despite playing literally the likes of Potter, Welsh, Genoa, Pongo, Italic. So, yeah, interesting to see. It's again, like I said about PSG, I'm not like dead nervous going into this one. I'm excited to go. I'm excited for the atmosphere. It, you know, it's cheap. It's 16 quid for a ticket on the cop, which is great. Hopefully, lots of kids in there, lots of locals. Um, you know, everyone enjoying themselves, singing their hearts out. Uh, that would be brilliant. Uh, I'll be a full Anfield crowd under the lights, and it, and it's good that it's against Chelsea as well. You know, you sign up for the Auto Cup scheme, and you think, um, oh, you know, I'm gonna have to get just get myself up for going to Liverpool versus Brentford in the in the League Cup, and I've got the Auto Cup scheme. I'll either I'll either do it, or because it's only sixteen quid, I won't I won't even do it, and I'll write it off, or I'll try and sell it on Twitter because that is what happens, unfortunately, and that's what ha that's what happened with Napoli away. You know, it goes down to. Um, it starts off with all, all the Champions League ways from last season, goes down to 5-4-3-2, and no one can get on the credits because people that, um, even people that are going, or aren't, aren't going, are, are buying tickets just to keep the credits. So it's a shame that that's how it is, but I think the Chelsea game, everyone's kind of happy. Everyone that wanted a ticket has got one, um, so it should be a great atmosphere in there. Um, you know, the League Cup Auto Cup scheme is easy to get on, so you know, if any of you are trying to get tickets for Liverpool and you live, at least in the UK, then get on the League Cup Auto Cup skin because you can always do it every season. And, you know, 16 quid to watch Liverpool versus Chelsea, you can't complain with that. And if we go all the way, you get a ticket to the final. So, in that sense, I hope we do go far in this competition because it's great for people to be able to go to the game, uh, especially if we keep playing at Anfield. Um, and, of course, I want silverware. And, of course, I want to beat Chelsea. So, what am I talking about? My prediction is Liverpool to win... Um, you know, I think just I just think we got too much for Chelsea. I think our squad is stronger than theirs, despite um, their millions and billions uh, of Russian money. So yeah, I'm going for a three-one Liverpool win. Um, picking Daniel Sturridge to score. Um, who else am I going to pick to score? Let's take Fabinho to score a penalty, shall we? 
and who else? John Matip scoring another one from a set piece. So there you go. Quite, quite, quite a niche selection there. But that's what I'm saying. Liverpool to advance, and I hope we do. Um, let me know your thoughts, guys, of course. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Facebook. It's Ben Might Say, and all of those. And uh, subscribe if you're new, of course, and I'll see you next time.